Peace and blessings, fam. It's your girl, T. T's braids, weaves, and wigs. Yes, I am servicing California, and hair is what I love to do. Yes, alopecia, it will not win. No, it will not. Today, I am going to be doing an amazing hairstyle. Look at this style. Yes, I am going to lift her self-esteem, her self-confidence, and make her feel good about herself when she steps outside. So yes, today I am going to start off using our G&G &G Hair Growth Butter. Yes, our G&G &G Hair Growth Butter is made with 100% all natural oils and herbs. So in this video, it's going to be pretty long because I am going to show details of how I create this style. This is my very first time ever doing this style on a client and I'm going to use my creativity to hide all this hair loss that she has. She does want braids so I am going to create the braids in the front and give her box braids in the back. So please continue to watch as I give you details step by step how I accomplish this. Look how this hair butter is melting into her scalp. Yes, if you want hair growth, you want a good hair growth butter to stimulate your scalp and promote some hair growth, put your order in now. The link is below. Our prices are very affordable, very reasonable. Our small jars are $10. Our large jars are $20. And yes, it is made with 100% all natural oils and herbs. I'm talking sage, basil, mint, coconut oil, shea butter, you name it. It is in there. We packed it with all different hair growth herbs. So yes, I am doing some head massaging and some scalp massaging as I am using the hair growth butter. Ladies, this is very important. These head and scalp massages help stimulate the scalp to promote hair growth. So you need to do this on a regular basis. I can't stress it enough, even with your protective styles. Go on top of your wigs, go on top of your weaves or whatever, and move your hand in those circular motions, massaging and stimulating those hair follicles for hair growth. So yes, step one, I am going to start preparing her braid pattern. I'm doing a braid pattern that is going to be consistent with this hairstyle that I'm going to create. She wants braids and I am going to create braids for her even though she has hair loss in the front. So if you are interested in how I achieve this style, please continue to watch. I am going to go step by step and I'm going to come back from time to time to explain in details what each step it is that I am doing. Again, this is the very first time that I've even attempted to create a style like this on a client with hair loss. But my ultimate goal is to help as many people as I can and do whatever I can to promote styles and create styles for people such as my client who have hair loss. So yes, again, step one, I'm going to continue to work on this braid pattern and I will come back in with details on the next step. So please continue to watch and I thank you so much for all your support and my channel.
14 by 4 lace frontal and I'm going to be using my elastic band method and this is what I'm going to use to create the braids in the front for my client. Yes, I love my elastic band frontal method. I use this a lot with all my clients who have hair loss or who have thin hair. I refuse to use glue because in my opinion glue, glue is not healthy for your hair and I am trying to do what's most healthiest for my clients hair each and every time so watch how I install the lace frontal as you can see the elastic band goes at the bottom underneath the last perimeter braid or the braid that's closest to her neck and I just slide it on and I want to make sure that it fits nice and comfortable. It needs to be tight, but not too tight, and it needs to be not too loose as well. So as you can see, here is the elastic band, and I'm asking my client, how does it feel? Is it too tight? Is it too loose? She says it feels too loose for her. She wants it to be a little tighter, and this is what you need to do if the band is too loose grab it to the portion of tightness that is desired and just stitch it and all you have to do is just stitch it to the desire of your client again you don't want it to be too tight but you don't want it to be too loose because this is what's going to keep it from slipping and sliding in the front without using any glue so again you want to make sure that it's nice and comfortable. I am going to finish this part off and I will come back and let you know the next details of the second or actually the third step because this is the second step which is doing the last band and placing the frontal on. Yes, whenever you have a client who doesn't have hair or have hair loss in the front, this is a great method that you can use. Look how sturdy and secure this is already just with the elastic band and I haven't sewed the back of the frontal down yet. So yes, this is a nice secure method. I love it. I use it all the time with my clients. Because she does not have um, hair in the front and I don't want it to slip and slide as I am braiding her cornrows down I am going to use a little lace front tape in the front and I find that this lace tape is much more healthier than using any glue I'm gonna place the tape on her hairline after I use a little oil because I noticed that it's very greasy around their edges because I did moisturize it really really good with our hair growth butter so I'm just gonna clean the sides off with a little bit of alcohol as you see I'm doing here and this is just only on her hairline ladies only on the hairline and this is where I'm going to place the lace tape the lace tape is also very good when you are removing it. You don't have to worry about any of your hair being taken out or pulled out after removing the lace tape. So that's another reason why I love using the lace tape and that I decided to use that instead of any glue because I don't want to create any more hair loss than what she already has this lace tape is very easy to remove and again it doesn't take out any of your hair look how that just peels off so that peels off and that's what I'm going to help hold the lace frontal down in the front this is step three placing the lace tape across her hairline or across her forehead so that I can secure this lace frontal when I begin doing her braids. Another option with the lace frontal is you can braid the braids on a wig head first before applying it on the client's hair or on your own head if you're doing your own hair. That's another option. However, this particular client, I decided to do everything on her no wig head needed so again continue to watch as I finish up step three <laughs>
we are moving along to step four. Step four, I am going to be using a wig cap and I decided to use this wig cap as a foundation to be able to attach her box braids. So yes, this is another creativity that I came up with in order to be able to give my client some box braids in the back. So I place the wig cap over the entire back of her head and I am going to sew the, the wig cap to the back of the frontal. So that is what's going to keep the wig cap in place and keep the frontal in place. So please watch how this step four process is done. Yes, if you're wondering what that cap is for, it is needed to attach those box braids again. Very creative. You got to get creative. And that's exactly what I'm doing. Again, remember, ladies, keep in mind, this is the very first time that I've ever done a style like this on a client with this much hair loss. So please continue to watch as I go through step four and show you how I sew down this cap and how I sew the frontal to the wig cap. This is beautiful. This is brilliant. This is brilliant, ladies. Keep watching, please. Step five is just cutting off the access lace, I mean the access wig cap. We don't want the edge of the wig cap. It's not needed. And we want that frontal to lay nice and flat so that our braids in the front will be nice and flat. So this is step five, which is cutting off the access of the cap that we don't need. So again, please continue to watch as I go through these steps and continue to create this brilliant, amazing style. I am so proud of myself. Yes. Thank you so much. fam so you did see me apply some additional olive oil to the top of the wig cap why because although I stress with my clients each and every time they come in how important it is to moisturize your scalp they never or hardly ever do so that was just some additional moisturizer that I wanted to add oh my gosh look how this frontal is laying I am now starting step six which I am corn rolling or braiding the frontal. Yes, I'm going to braid the frontal in a straight back pattern or design. Nothing too fancy, but just to give a style in the front so that we can create this braid style that my client is desiring. So yes, I am braiding that frontal the lace tape is holding very well as you can see how sturdy sturdy and secure it is this frontal is not moving at all it is laying nice and flat and flush with the wig cap it looks so natural ladies oh my god it is looking so natural and so neat 
so again continue to watch the process I am just going to call and roll or braid the entire front of this frontal and again ladies this is the very first time I am doing this I am not seeing many people doing corn rolls on the frontal I've seen a lot of box braids with the frontal I've seen them box braids on the wigs corn rolls on the wigs but I haven't seen many people at all doing corn rolls with the frontal on the client all at the same time so again this is my own creativity and what I decided to do for my client who wanted a braid style but has hair loss so please continue to watch watch the video throughout the end I am going to be doing a wig giveaway yes I am going to be giving away two wigs so please continue to watch this video at the end. I will show you the two wigs that is going to be in the giveaway so that you will have a heads up and first dibs at the wig giveaway. It will be a video and I will be giving away two as I create this wonderful, beautiful, amazing style. natural in the front however she says she does a lot of sweating she doesn't know how to keep the baby hair up and she insisted that no baby hair so I didn't leave any out all the frontal including baby hair is all braided in I think that that would have helped bring the style out but as a hairstylist you have to give your clients what they ask for and if they don't want it you can't force them so yes we are moving on to step seven we are going to apply some box braids yes we are doing some crochet box braids they are 20 inches long we are using color 1b and we are going to add a splash of color in it as well so I am going to do regular crochets on the braids that she have in the back and I will show you step 8 of how I attach the box braids to the wig cap 
yes this is coming out so beautiful ladies i am so proud of myself of this creativity that i am using to give my client what she wants what she needs i am definitely working hard to accomplish this style and i am giving it 110 percent as i give each and every one of my clients each time they sit down in my chair so yes here it is i am doing my sewing method yes i am sewing these crochets to the wig cap on her head and this is going to be nice and full i am going to eventually slow it down a little bit so you can see we used two packs of crochet box braids again they are 20 inches long we used color 1b and i'm going to show you the other color that we used in just a moment so yes this is how i am attaching the box braids to the wig cap using my sew-in method i have several videos showing my sew-in method yes here is the splash of color it is a 1b 118 i'm going to leave the link below to where you can purchase these box braids yes these box braids are what $3.95 a pack yes you gotta get them and they are very easy to use they don't tangle they don't shed the braids are amazing so here I am slowing that process down to show you how I take the needle and thread go through the pre-loop again yes these are pre-loop crochets so they are very easy to use and I actually just take the needle and thread go through the pre-loop hole and I actually go through and make a knot each and every time I take it through and I go through about three or four times and that makes it very secure I love that the box braids are very versatile meaning they can move to the left to the right they can move up and they can move down so this sew-in method is very versatile with the braids meaning they don't just lay flat and lay down they can be pulled in any direction so continue to watch and you will see how full out. Oh my gosh. And I thank you all so much for all your support in my channel. Please continue to watch and you will see the two wigs that I am going to give away. all right fam here we have it the completed style yes look at these braids oh my gosh this style came out so beautiful these braids are nice and full i love how the braids on the frontal came out however i wish we could have had a little baby hair but i did notice that it's much harder to braid on the client's head opposed to braiding on a wig cap but look at that it came out amazing thank you so much for watching and i will show you the wigs that are going to be in the giveaway yes this is the wig giveaway stay tuned for that video it is coming soon